right. Us again. You and me. One on one. Actually, it's one on about 80. So <laughs> I'd like to talk a little bit about the final essay. I know it's worth a lot of points, so I need to make sure you all clearly understand what I'm looking for. Uh, each of the essays, I look for something specific. Uh, like the first essay, I was looking for how you organize your essays uh, more than basically what you were saying. So a lot of people did a lot of summary. That's not what I was looking for. But hopefully through the um, comments and conversations that we've had, they understand the difference. Now, here's the irony. The uh, final essay is asking you to do just that. Okay, it's a different kind of essay. It's an it's called an exploratory essay, and it's all about what's called metacognition. Metacognition is learning how we learn. So it's examining things that that you're exposed to to see, to analyze how they affect your previous knowledge on a subject. Okay, that's analyzing how you learn. So. As we said before, the essay is in two parts. The first part is you giving me a chronological account of doing your research about at least three peer-reviewed uh, articles. Now, they don't have to be the same articles that you summarized for the exercise because that was for a different purpose, um, but they need to be peer-reviewed from Galileo, okay? Uh, any other source other than peer-reviewed, you're welcome to use, but they have to end in .gov, .gov or .edu uh, to show that they're, you know, legitimate sources, okay? So the first part is in your introduction. You might want to take notes about this. Uh, the first part, your introduction, you're going to explain what this project is. Um, and that project is you are becoming an expert through doing the research on a particular subject. Okay, let's just say you go with structural racism. Um, you do your research on structural racism, and in doing that research, you become an authority. You become an expert because you've studied more about it than I have or other people have. So it's not just an opinion, it's an informed opinion. You know, you could very easily just say, you know, I don't think structural racism is a thing. Fair enough. That's your opinion and you're entitled to it. Um, uh, but the research that you do, you have to report one of three things. One of three things. One, you report what information that article adds that you didn't already know. Uh, you report... Also, <clears throat> what information it reinforces, like, yeah, I thought that, but now I know it's true because I saw it in this research article, okay? Or you're going to dispute the information the article gives uh, with your own research and data saying, yeah, 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 they're all off here. This is not, according to what I've read in other articles, this is not factual, okay? Okay. So those are the three things I'm looking for. You may not do, you know, if it adds new information, well, you don't have to write about what it reinforces because you're talking about that. Um, our tendency, as I said before in a previous video, is to want to choose something that we're already familiar with, and that's fine. Uh, you're going to get a lot of number two, um, what it reinforces that you already knew or thought. Uh, and that's fine. That's the process. You're, 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 you're identifying, you're examining, oh, I already knew that. You don't have to identify where you knew it from. Maybe you heard other people whose opinion you respect talk about it. Maybe you heard it on a TED Talk. Maybe you heard it from a teacher or your friends think this way too. All that's legit. But you have to analyze me. Like, oh, I already knew that. And that's what you're looking at. You're analyzing how you learn. And a lot of it might be, okay, well, I learn. Because I had my doubts about this, but this is reinforcing that. So now I have a legit source saying the same thing I already thought. That makes sense. Okay. So you're doing that with the body paragraphs of your final essay. And you're doing it chronologically in the order that, you know, you've done it. And I've said before, 
uh, it's probably smart to keep a diary. Uh, you don't have to go into detail in the diary, but just on this day, you know, April 9th, I did this. I searched for articles, couldn't find anything. April 10th, found an article, very interesting. It was too long to use, so I, I, I rejected using it. Next day, oh, I found a perfect article. I'm definitely going to use this. And <clears throat> the more notes that you put in your article, the easier it is to transfer that to your final essay. Okay? So that's the first part of the final essay. <clears throat> the second part then, where you can actually put a header that separates part one and part two, is you're going to take that expertise that you have gained and apply it to Jordan Peele's film, Get Out. And you're going to have to identify what he is saying is the problem with, for example, structural racism, if that's our, our topic, uh, and what's the message about it. Now, Jordan Peele may not offer a solution. Say, okay, here's the problem, so here's the answer. He may not offer that. That's an observation you can make. Or if he offers a solution to the problem, you need to report that because that's you analyzing the film, okay? Your essay is not about the film, the same way essay one was not about the artifact. It's about your subject. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Your first introduction is going to have... Uh, talking about the project and the project is you're going to become an expert through doing research and you're then going to apply it to Jordan Peele's Get Out. Okay. Then you're going to have an, a thesis statement about the film that's the same as the thesis statement you worked with in essay one. Text, writer, what's the message about your subject and what's the tool he uses to um, create that message or build that message. Okay. Now here's what's going to be different. You're going to end up with two conclusions. The first conclusion will be about the film and the message and the tool and what, what it all is that you think, you know, about this film and its message. The final conclusion is going to be about what you took away or what you learned about the way you learn through this whole project, okay? That's incorporating, you know, section number one and section number two. Was it easier that you were aware of what you were doing by becoming an expert and then applying that? Was it more complicated? Was it more difficult? That's where you bring, again, yourself into the conclusion. Uh, all of this essay, you can use I, because the first part, I'm asking you to report what your journey is to become this expertise, expert rather. But the Jordan Peele section, section two, is just like a regular essay. And if you look on that, how sentences work, you know, you see some things that are, are contradicting what I'm asking you to do. Uh, but in the second part, you take away the I, you keep it objective. You know, the first part, you definitely use I. You can use you um, because you're, you're exploring your own learning and it should be I. I first did this, then I did this, then I learned this. Okay, so keep that in mind. When you get to the Jordan Peele part, it's back to the rules of essay one, okay? Everything needs to be um, MLA format, especially the sources that you use. Um, and if you don't use the sources in the first part, if you use different sources for the analysis part, that's fine. But all of your sources need to go on your Works Cited page. And remember, there's a video out there, a PowerPoint, that shows you how to do all that and copy and paste those works cited pages from Galileo it makes it so much easier than trying to figure it all out. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. As it always, my phone is available. Google me, I'm available through that. If you have questions, please, please, please let me help. I'm cheering for you guys and gals. I want you to do well. Most of you are doing very well and I appreciate the effort some of you took to catch up on the missing and late work that you've done. I admire that. Okay, so I'm going to close now uh, and let you at it. Remember the articles, uh, summaries one and two, I think are due this Friday, as is the uh, worksheet for uh, sentence variety. Make sure you get all of that into the folders it needs to be in. They should be all open now. Again, questions, please bring them. Please bring them. Have a great day. Watch Get Out five times. <laughs>